Three prisoners were being transported by sheriff's deputies from the federal courthouse downtown back to Washington County. When they got here to the intersection of I-25 and 20th Street, one of those prisoners escaped. Lois Butler was out sweeping up grass clippings the morning that she was shot. With her broom in hand, some speculate that the murderer called her over to the corner of her yard. As she turned to leave or get away, she was shot in the back, found face down here in the rocks, killed without a clue. This is a training round just filled with talcum powder, but a pepper ball with live agent would immediately start to affect a person's eyes, nose, and mouth. No one hurt, but nine people inside that have come in contact with that suspicious package are having skin irritations and burning sensations. So they have taken those nine people away. They are being decontaminated right now. An investigation is still ongoing here tonight. Apparently, a room that was occupied by the children and their father was found completely destroyed. Holes in the ceiling and in the walls and the furniture ruined when the motel clerk found the damage and signs of children he called police they have no containment no control over this blaze whatsoever now the drop in temperatures and the rise in humidity has helped the fire to lay down tonight but with the weather that's moving in it's gotten really windy out here and the winds are very sporadic blowing in lots of different directions so as for now they're going to play it cautious and just watch this fire overnight Stagnant water is the breeding ground for mosquitoes, but because of the cool weather and colder water temperatures, it's slowing down how fast the mosquitoes can mature to adults from about five days to about 20 days, which is good news for now. It's a shocking scare for any parent with literally thousands of utility boxes around the Denver metro area. You think you're safe, but a damaged lock caused a playground area to become an unimaginable hazard to three year old Anthony Vasquez. He doesn't want to go to the park no more. He says, I don't want to go to the park. I don't want to fall down. Unfortunately, it'll probably be quite some time until little Anthony is able to go to the park. Doctors expect his recovery will take 18 months. His first surgery will be on Saturday. Because of the severe damage, there's a possibility he could lose his toes. Shalene Cockrell, WB2 News. It's been a very eventful day. We'll get to that, but believe it or not, the whole thing just went down within the past half hour. And in fact, when they hauled off the culprit, you could actually hear cheers and clapping throughout the neighborhood. Now, police just handed me a mugshot of the sole man responsible for the problems here. This is 43 year old Gregory Scott Tagaris. And the reason why they didn't go in sooner to get him is that they had to wait for the Adams County DA to issue a felony warrant. A couple of low tech solutions that will also help put towels or blankets around windows or doors that feel like they're leaking or cold air is coming in. South facing windows open your blinds during the day so the sun can come in and heat your house. Close them at night. Well, actually, things are looking pretty good right now, Ernie. For all intents and purposes, where I am, it's pretty much stopped snowing. There's a flake here or there, about an inch or two of snow accumulated on the ground. Merchants in the area say that their businesses have not been affected by the price to park. It's really just making things easier. But a few things to remember, the kiosks do not take dollar bills, just credit cards or quarters. Or you can get parking tokens. There's a lot of signs on how and where to get those. Or you can get a parking gift card by going to cherrycreeknorth.com. At nine months old and 60 pounds, this puppy is a loving bundle of joy straight from a rock. I'm Shalene Cockrell with his heartfelt story coming up. The vets here say that Itchy is in perfect health. And if you're wondering about how he got the name Itchy, uh, when they found him in such bad shape, he also had a lot of diseases that made him itch a lot. So now he has a name that I guess will remind everybody forever where he came from. Reporting live tonight in Castle Rock, Shalene Cockrell, WB2 News.